What's good, everybody? It's time for Ask FP. Got a few, 30 some questions, I believe. Let's get into it. All right, first up, we have Joshua Paramore. He says, do you think that Jerry and Grant out of Notre Dame would do good with Chicago as Derrick Rose's backup? I like Grant a lot. Uh, 6'5", his good size, able to get to the basket, showing that he can actually run a team. You look at Notre Dame, they shoot over 50% from the field. That's good ball movement. It's also good leadership from the point guard spot. And the credit for that goes to Jerry and Grant. And also, of course, the head coach, uh, Mike Bray. So, yeah, I do like Grant. I think that would be a, a, a solid pick for uh, the Bulls if he were available at the time when they pick. Kyle Salzman says, just an idea for next year's slam dunk contest. NBA versus NFL. What do you think? Uh, Kyle, you're on your own with that one, dog. I, I really, I don't want to see that. I mean, I don't <laughs> I mean, I know there's a lot of guys in the NFL like Byron Jones and Kevin White, guys that could really get up, you know, from last year, Mike Evans could jump and that. But I don't want to, I would rather, if you're going to go something alternative, I would rather see like guys from the uh, uh, and one or, or the other, you know, street ball groups. I'd rather see them being able to get into the dunk contest than somebody from the NFL. Dabs106 says, what's your opinion on Rory McDonald? I never hear you talk about him. It's weird. I don't know if how many fights he's had since I've been doing this, Ask FP, but um, I actually met him in Las Vegas when we went to the PlayStation Experience and when I went to UFC 182. He's a, he's a um, extremely well-rounded and skilled fighter. He's not all that exciting, and I think that's what's kept him from being a superstar, but uh, he's a machine. Uh, he's a machine and definitely a, a force to be reckoned with. And, you know, at 170, he's a, he's a heck of a fighter. Uh, Devin Martinez says, do you uh, think that the WWE should add tag team titles for the Divas? I really do. I think there should be a Divas tag team title. But, of course, you probably have to expand the division. Because I don't know if there's enough of them to really have, like, tag team titles and that sort of thing. i like to see them have that. i like to see them have, like, a secondary title. Uh, you know, that they, they got to do something with it. Because it's just blah. You know, right. It's just ugh. And I don't know, something's got to happen, but maybe something like that would help. Ty Bud says, how do you change already made players' ages on the roster? Example, Josh Smith is 23, Billups is 29, plus real portraits. Um, real portraits, I'm not sure what you mean. I, I don't have a way to put that in, but changing the, the ages is real simple. You just go to the date of birth and make it, make it appropriate. You know, Obviously, if you're talking about Legends players, you can't really put in their real date of birth. Uh, if it's a guy who's ar <clears throat> like already on the game, but if I want so you know if I want to make somebody 25 years old, then I have to make them born in 1990, you know, so it'll be 25 on the game currently. That kid from Philly says, "Is Champ Bailey a Hall of Famer?" Yes, absolutely. Uh, there's a there's like an old saying that says, "If somebody asks you, is a player a Hall of Famer?" If there's any hesitation at all in your answer, then the answer should be no. Because Hall of Famer should be point blank, yes, no question. And I think Champ Bailey falls in that category. I mean, one of the top two to three cover corners of his of his, of his his era. So I would gotta, you have to say he's a, uh, a Hall of Famer. Yovan is back. He says, Steve Nash had a great career, but who are your top five point guards in NBA history? And where would you put Nash? I would put Nash in the top 10, but not in the top five. I, I would say Magic, uh, Isaiah, uh, Tiny Archibald, John Stockton, Oscar Robinson, maybe not necessarily in that order. Uh, probably Oscar Robinson would be more like second. Um, and, you know, I think Jerry West is in there too, but I, I, I would leave him a little bit out of it in terms of like the pure point guard standpoint. So those would be my top five. Yovan also says, with Serge Ibaka out four to six weeks, do you think that OKC can still win the title or even make the playoffs? I think they can make the playoffs because of how well um, Russell Westbrook has been playing. And Ennis Cantor has really stepped in and played well. So he's taken some of the weight off of the inside, uh, you know, that Ibaka would be doing, um, some of the work that he would be doing. But they cannot win a title without Ibaka or Durant. They need both of those guys in the playoffs. And I'll be honest, I don't think Durant's coming back this season. 
Everson Carter says, your thought on Rey Mysterio killing a AAA wrestler uh, off a of 619, it didn't look like Rey touched him that much. As a matter of fact, I think you probably sent this question before the rest of the information came out. He didn't actually, uh, I know he did connect with the 619, but the guy actually had a, um, a stroke. And I don't believe, and I, I could be wrong, but my understanding of the situation was it wasn't that it came from the blow from Mysterio. It was just horrible, man. You know, you hate to see anything like that happening. Um, and I know Mysterio probably feels horrible because of whatever his involvement in it uh, in the situation period. But, yeah, it's it's uh, it's, it's kind of just terrible. Another Steve Nash question says, what uh, HDG Ballout says, what are your thoughts on Steve Nash's retirement? Did he leave a big enough impact to the game to be a Hall of Famer? Oh, without a question, he's a Hall of Famer. I mean, that's, that's, does, I mean, he won two MVPs, uh, premier passer in his time. He, he's definitely a Hall of Famer. Um, his retirement is probably about a year and a half, two years overdue, to be honest. Uh, he should have probably walked away before, but, you know, it is what it is. But it, definitely a Hall of Fame career. HDG Ballout says, what are your favorite hobbies outside of sports? Favorite music artist, favorite movie, favorite WWE moment? God bless. God bless you as well. Uh, outside of sports, I mean, I like I like video games. I like movies a lot. Um, I like music. Probably don't li listen to it as much as I used to, but I still like it. I actually also love history, period. My favorite music artist, like, of all time is like Rock M. And I like, I like, I like a lot of old school R&B. My favorite movie is the usual suspects and no country for old men favorite wwe moment man to be honest just if i go with something recently dolph ziggler's cash in the end of the money in the bank or out on alberto del rio was awesome mark henry's uh, fake retirement speech was awesome um you know there's been some other cool stuff you know way cooler stuff before that but that's the first thing that jumps in my mind like recently uk says is there any team that can beat Kentucky. I think it could be Arizona. I think if there's any team that can beat Kentucky, it's probably Arizona. I just think athletically they have an opportunity to, to somewhat match up, but I don't think anybody. I, I personally, I picked Kentucky to win, so there it is. Eclectic Amora says, "How could I do the 2K Legend roster fantasy draft without duplicates?" Thank you for everything. I appreciate it. This is something that's been going around a lot. People talking about the duplicates, essentially. What you want to do is you want to take any duplicates. Now, let me just say, the duplicates aren't there for me being lazy. I left two versions or three versions of people in there on purpose because they're all different, represent different years, different times of that player's career. But if you only want to have one, all you got to do is trade them to like a Legends team, one of the classic teams, or trade them to one of the international teams, get them off of the, one of the main 30 teams, and when you do a fantasy draft, they won't be there at all. So, or well, when you do a regular, you know, you know, my league or my GM, they won't be there at all. UK says, who's the better of the twins, Aaron or Andrew Harrison? I like Andrew a little bit better. I think, I, you know, just, I think the clutch shooting, um, just, I mean, they both are extremely confident players, but if I had to pick one, I would probably pick Andrew Harrison. I don't think either of them are big time prospects though. Big Kev says, are the Hawks pretenders or legit to win the NBA title? I think they are pretenders. I think they are a system-based team that relies a lot on the rhythm and that sort of thing. And when you're a team that way, when something is out of place or something doesn't function properly, which is what the playoffs is made, made that's what... Pretty much the way the playoffs is designed is teams are trying to and they have time to try to disrupt what you do i think when they're the type of team because they don't have an outstanding or a great player or two to lean on in a tough situation i say they're pretenders as it relates to playoff contention dustin wheatley says are you going to start doing franchise fiction again yes i am dustin i put i tweeted out maybe about a week ago about a week ago, I, tw I tweeted it out basically what my schedule was going to be uh, for NBA 2K. So right now I'm working on the draft class. After that, I believe I'm going to go ahead and finish up going home. And after that, then I'm going to go back to franchise fiction. And then I'm finally going to do a my league with my Legends roster, which I haven't done. Justin says, who do you think? When do you think? I'm sorry. 
Stardust will go back to being Cody Rhodes. Um, hard to tell. I don't know that. I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. Even though you don't, you never really know. Because in my opinion, it doesn't make any sense for it to be anytime soon. But then it, hey, a lot of things are going on in the WWE doesn't make any sense. So um, I don't think it's going to be soon. I think maybe later this year, which I guess is somewhat soon, but not really. But I, I would say maybe later this year. Simon Torve Sunland with the EPL question. He says, who do you think will get relegated from the English Premier League? Now, I, yeah, I really, I had actually had a question about relegation before. And I, it's really interesting. Very interesting. But I think that Sunderland, Leicester, and QPR probably are going to be the three to get, uh, three clubs to get relegated. Burnley is right in there with Sunderland, but I kind of think Burnley will edge it out. Uh, if you, I was looking at some statistics. You look at the projected points per match that they have that they have left on the schedule before you know, the decision for relegation is made, and I just kind of feel like they'll edge out Sunderland. Now, Simon Torve Sunderland, Torve Sunderland says, which rivalry is the fiercest in the NBA today and of all time? To me, of all time, the fiercest rivalry was the Bulls and the Pistons in the what late '80s, early '90s. But in the NBA today, it's kind of difficult to say because it's hard to find real, real serious rivalries because of free agency. Um, man, I, I don't know if there's a real serious rivalry. I mean, maybe the Clippers and the, and the Grizzlies, they don't like each other. I don't know. I mean, this one here, I mean, he comes with another question. He says, how big is the Pacers-Bulls rivalry? I think it's a pretty big rivalry for sure. Um, but to be honest... I feel like the Pacers and the Heat was turning into a bigger rivalry, but with LeBron leaving Miami, then now that rivalry isn't really there anymore. So it's just very difficult to maintain a rivalry in today's uh, NBA or today's sports period because um, because of free agency and the way the players move around. Matt Price says, what's your favorite WrestleMania card? Wow. I would probably say, wow, that's tough, man. That's tough. I, I whew. you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go real crazy with this one. My favorite one, WrestleMania 2. WrestleMania 2, the Battle Royal, the uh, Hulk Hogan. I mean, that to me, from a historic standpoint, and a cool stand, everything, all the things wrapped together, I would say WrestleMania 2. So anybody hasn't seen WrestleMania 2, check it out. You probably will hate the matches because the matches back then were boring compared to now. But from a historic standpoint, I would say WrestleMania 2. Matt Price says, do you think that Tobias Harris of the Orlando Magic can be an all-star? Absolutely. I actually, to be honest, I'm quite interested in seeing if the Bulls would trade Tosh Gibson Head up for Tobias Harris in the offseason. I think that's something that would help both teams and would be interesting. Matt Price also says, what do you think of the age limit rule in the NBA? Ah, I don't like the age limit rule in the NBA. Um, I think that it's either unintentionally or intentionally racist. And the reason why I say that is because obviously the, 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 the group of people that are most impacted by this are African Americans because we don't see a lot of um, non-African Americans um, contending to join the NBA straight out of high school. Every other sport, there's almost every other sport in the world outside of football, players are allowed to be professionals before then. But the NBA, because they're trying to control a certain image, which a lot of this came from the Malice in the Palace, came from Allen Iverson, trying to control this image uh, for their season ticket holders. And I think that this was Creating the age limit was part of that whole thing. I could go on forever about that, but that's yeah, that's that's what I that's what I say. Now this is from Jalen Cook. This is another Steve Nash question. It's very similar, but I kept it because it says, "When do you think that Steve Nash will be inducted?" I think he's a first ballot guy. Five years. And as soon as he's eligible, he goes in. Tyler Knoll says, "What are your WrestleMania 31 predictions?" Well, I can't go through necessarily through all of them because you know well uh i think that i think that brock wins 
I think Brock wins. The, I don't. I don't. I don't think Roman wins. I think Brock wins. I think that uh, Cena beats Rusev. I think that Daniel Bryan wins the ladder match and wins the Intercontinental Championship. Um, I, I believe that. Hmm, it's hard to say. Uh, those are the biggest, the biggest ones, and so I'll, I'll leave it at that. But those are the biggest. Those are my predictions for the biggest ones. I see. Tyler No also says if WWE 2K does decide to bring back 2K Showcase, what rivalries do you think will be in it? Uh, I definitely think they're going to bring it back. I do. I think they're going to go old school with some rivalries this time, though. I think like I think you might see like Randy Macho Man Savage, Ricky Steamboat. Uh, especially with him, Macho Man, just going into the Hall of Fame. I think something like that you'll see. I, I think you, you might see something like uh, Stone Cold Vince McMahon, which is something we probably thought we were going to see anyway. I think those are two that I would like to see. Tyler also says, do you think that Roman, Reign needs, Roman Reigns needs to turn heel? No, I don't. I think that he is a face. I, I just don't think he works as well as a heel. I mean, he did obviously with the Shield, but... Roman's Roman's a face. They just have to figure out how to trick the ridiculous fans who just want to boo because he's not Daniel Bryan. Essentially, which is what is going on. So, um, yeah, I think he's still a face, though. Tyler Noll says, do you think there will be a fight night champion, too? And if you do, what year do you think it will come out? I, I actually do think there's another boxing coming uh, from EA. I believe that it's coming next year. That's my personal thought. I think it's coming next year. Just from talking to Brian Hayes, the guy who's the executive producer for the EFC Sports UFC, and he did the fight nights, um, he had definitely wants to do it. Uh, I got the impression that he mentions it whenever he can, whenever he can, whenever you know he's, he's able to. Uh, and I think the popularity of Mayweather Pacquiao, as well as the popularity of Premier Boxing Champions on network television, is raising the overall awareness for the game itself and i think that's one of the reasons why you'll see another one walter davis says if cena and d bry win the us and ic titles would that make them more prestigious absolutely which is the reason that i believe they both are going to win the gold the wwe needs some other storylines that are compelling and adding some more glam and glitz to the titles is the way to do it now, Trevor Allen says the worst WrestleMania hype for the title match you've ever seen and Brock and Reigns, Brock and Reigns fighting, uh, fighting of title like kids. I think he's saying fighting for title. I, I'm not sure. I, I think you're asking me what's the worst hype for a title match I've ever seen. Personally, it would be the second second Cena rock at WrestleMania. That was just whack. I mean, it's like. I like both of them, but everybody knew what was happening. I'm like, come on, man. This is just ridiculous. So I didn't like the hype for that at all. Trevor also says, with Nico playing Nikola Miritich, for anybody that doesn't know, playing how he is with a healthy Rose and Butler, how, how far can the Bulls go? I still believe the Bulls are a legitimate title contender with all pieces together and healthy. But that's such a big if because there's so many injuries going around. I mean, Cleveland is the team that I just don't think the Bulls, I'm not sure the Bulls can beat. Every other team, Golden State, Memphis, all of those other teams, I'm pretty, I believe a healthy Bulls team can beat in the series. Cleveland is a whole nother beast. But the, I don't think that, I'm not saying they can't beat them, but I will acknowledge that's an entirely different level of the game. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe, follow, peace, and God bless.